Want to know how smoking affects your eyes? I'm going to tell you that and a whole lot more about cigarette smoke. Stick around. All right, guys, uh, before we start, welcome to my channel, the Eye Care and Wellness channel. I'm Joel Hayden. I'm an optometrist and nutritionist, and we go over all things on eye care, nutrition, eye, nu eye nutrition, and ways in which to live better and longer. So if that interests you, consider subscribing. Hit that like button if you like what I have to say today. Let's get at it. Smoking. We, if we are ever going to talk about longevity, we have to talk about it after you've quit smoking because it is the number one thing that could strike you down in life. And that might not be true. That could be car accidents. It could be some other things, but it is definitely up there. And smoking is just a horrible, horrible way to go. And I've seen many. I'm sure you have too. And I think that the information I'm going to give you today is going to, one, dissuade anybody from starting to smoke. And two, there's a lot of really good information here that I didn't know. And it's scary stuff. So let's get through what smoking does to your eyes first. Then I'm going to get into all of the issues on cigarettes and cigarette smoke. All right. So five major things that can happen to your eyes with cigarette smoking. The first is cataracts. And I've been practicing 28 years and I've seen many smokers cataracts and they look like it's, really, it's kind of disgusting, but it has, they have the cataracts have that color almost the same as the nicotine that they get on their fingers. It's that yellow, brown, gross color. Different from non-smokers cataracts. Very interesting though. So the risk of cataracts double by the time you're 80. And we, we're all probably gonna get cataracts if we live long enough. So that's not a horrible thing even for a smoker. They go in, they have cataract surgery and they can have it removed. But they will have them younger and they will probably be more severe than if they didn't smoke. Number two, macular degeneration. Macular degeneration is a horrible way to go blind. You lose your center vision. So if you were looking at me on this video, you, my face would all be garbled, and yet everything around you in the room outside of my face would be fine until you go to look at something and that big blur spot follows you. It's awful. You can't read, you can't recognize faces, you certainly can't drive. Smokers have a threefold risk of macular degeneration. And if you're a woman who smokes, your risk is five and a half times greater of getting macular degeneration by the time you're 80. Those are scary numbers. Okay, on to number three. The middle layer of the eye is called the uvea. And smokers can get something called uveitis. And uveitis can be a blinding disease. A smoker has two and a half times the greatest, greater risk of a non-smoker of getting uveitis. Number four is diabetes. Smokers have double risk of getting diabetes in general. So I would assume, and I did not look this number up, I assume that they would also have a double risk of diabetic retinopathy, which by the way is the number one cause of blindness in the United States right now. And again, not a very fun way to, um, to have to go through the rest of your life with sight threatening or sight limiting vision and you're getting um, injections of a drug into the back of your eye to try to save your vision in both diabetic retinopathy and in macular degeneration. Hopefully some motivation for you. That takes us to number five. Pregnancy. The risk of birth defects with a smoking pregnant woman are through the roof. From all types of things, from kid, babies having eye turns to having blinding optic nerve diseases and many other diseases. If you are pregnant and you smoke, I'm sorry, you're stupid. Hey guys, so number six, dry eyes. Big surprise. Smokers have an increased risk of dry eyes. I wonder why. They're smoking and blowing that disgusting cigarette smoke into their own face all day long, every day that they smoke. So it's a very big surprise they have dry eyes. They probably have dry eyes, higher risk of styes, higher risk of um, conjunctivitis, higher risk of almost everything because they smoke. Okay. So those are the six major conditions that you can get 
at a higher risk if you smoke. Okay, so those are the six things. On to the list of what's in cigarette smoke. Because, you know, we all know there's tobacco and there's nicotine. And, you know, there are things about nicotine that I didn't know. I thought nicotine was just some part, some additive part of the tobacco that they put in there to make you get um, addicted to it, which I think is true. It is the addictive element in tobacco. But did you also know that nicotine is a pesticide? They're putting pesticides in cigarettes? Oh, hold on. Here's our list of chemicals that are in cigarettes. Let's start with carcinogens. Benzene. Benzene you can find in gasoline, but it's in cigarettes. And almost half of the benzene that is consumed by the human body is, comes from cigarettes and cigarette smoke. Cigarette users, secondhand smoke, benzene. So we've all probably gotten benzene, benzene in our system as a carcinogen from cigarette smoke. Next is formaldehyde, another carcinogen. Of course, we know formaldehyde because that's the chemical they use to preserve dead bodies. But guess what? Formaldehyde is also in cigarette smoke. So we've all gotten a little bit of that over the years too. The formaldehyde will give you irritation to your eyes, nose, and throat. It's the primary reason when our bodies hate the cigarette smoke. It's usually the formaldehyde that's in them. The third and last carcinogen that we are exposed to in cigarettes is vinyl chloride. Vinyl chloride is a man-made plastic that's used in the filter of cigarettes. So those are our carcinogens. And you're like, wow, there's only three? We aren't close to done. So let's go on to toxic and heavy metals that are in cigarettes. The first one, cadmium. Cadmium you might have heard of. It's in batteries, but it's a toxic heavy metal. Of course, we don't want to consume batteries and we know they aren't safe, but cadmium is in cigarettes. The next toxic heavy metal is going to blow you away. Did you know that there is arsenic in cigarettes? Like, are they just trying to kill us? It's crazy. Arsenic is in cigarettes. The arsenic, which is used in rat poison, is also used as a pesticide in farming for tobacco. Like, come on. Yeah, they're going to kill everything from eating the tobacco and then kill us by letting other people smoke it. So next, next we have radioactive toxic metals. Both lead 210 is a radioactive metal and polonium, polonium 210 is another radioactive metal in cigarette smoke. Why? I'm sure there's why. I'm not a chemist. I really don't want to know, but look it up. Polonium in cigarettes. Last but not least, just let's go to the plain old basic poisons. Ammonia. Ammonia, which is used as a cleaner, is also used as a fertilizer, but it is used to boost the effect of nicotine. If nicotine wasn't bad enough, let's add a little ammonia to it. Oh, by the way, not only are these people going to ingest it, but everybody around them smoking that smoke is going to ingest it. Here's another good one, hydrogen cyanide. It was used in gas chambers. Yep, let's put that in cigarettes too. And lastly, on our list of poisons, Carbon monoxide. Like, no, can't be carbon monoxide. That's what we get from the exhaust in cars that can kill people. Yeah, yeah, carbon monoxide is in cigarettes. <laughs> I'm blown away. I didn't, I had no idea that that many, by the way, that was just the short list. There are over 4,000 chemicals that are toxic in cigarettes. That's what's in the cigarettes that causes all of the issues that these people have. It's amazing anybody can smoke for more than a week and not die. But here we are. So if you, um, if you don't smoke, please don't start. And if you do smoke, rewind this and watch it again. So next, just let's talk about secondhand smoke. You know, the stuff that you and I get as non-smokers. Secondhand smoke kills 41,000 people a year, including 400 infants. If you're a smoker with pets, your pets are at a two and a half times higher risk of nasal cancer because of their secondhand smoke from you. 
smokers themselves, um, four, 480,000 people a year die of smoking. There is an estimated 4,400 to 7,300 people a year who die from secondhand smoke that were considered never smokers. They never smoked in their life. But it was as a, as a, re, as a, but it was as a direct result of secondhand smoke. 58 million Americans are exposed to secondhand smoke, including two out of five children. And every time I say the word smoke, I want you to think of arsenic. I want you to think of radioactive polonium. I want you to think of the benzene and all those other things. Yes, they're breathing it in. And now there's actually a thing called third hand smoke. So let's say your friend Jimmy is sitting in his apartment having a cigarette and he does this all the time because it's his apartment and he can smoke in his apartment. And um, a couple weeks later around Christmas time, his sister comes over with her two kids and they're playing on the couch. The couch where Jimmy sits is laced with cigarette smoke. Now those kids are playing on the arsenic, polonium, benzene based system that Jimmy calls a couch. Jimmy doesn't know this. Jimmy just smokes, you know, it's, it's not uh, anything against smokers. It's, it's not. Most of them have no idea of how bad it is. So guys, that's all I have to say about cigarette smoking, how it affects the eyes, what's in it, how freaking unbelievable it is with the things that are in it. I didn't specify the difference between whether the chemicals were in the cigarettes or in the cigarette smoke. Most of the information I had was on secondhand smoke, so I believe a lot of it is in the smoke, but things like the vinyl chloride is in the filter. I'm sure uh, the ammonia that is used as a pesticide is on the tobacco, and I'm not sure how much ammonia gets in the air once it's burned. That's the information, the stuff I don't have. But in any case, it's there. I'm gonna put some links down below for people who may want to look for a source to help them try to quit smoking. I certainly hope if Nothing else comes of this video that one person may be helped from it. So hope it helped you. Hope it was some eye-opening stuff. It sure was for me. And until next time, take care.